The town of Castle Rock, Colorado bears several tributes and memorials to the late Philip S. Miller. The Philip S. Miller Library, County Building, Park, and Court all honor the man considered to be Castle Rock's greatest philanthropist and benefactor. Visitors and newcomers to Castle Rock might not know the story of Philip S. Miller and his lasting legacy to the growing and thriving community. He was a successful businessman who owned the local bank and helped shepherd the town's growth during the 20th century. After the Depression, business people in town asked him if he would start a bank because the banks had been closed during the Depression. He did that, was very successful at that, and um, that's how he became the generous benefactor that we all think of today. In the 1980s, with no children of their own, Philip and Jerry Miller established the Philip S. Miller Charitable Trust with a $30 million donation. Philip and Jerry wanted to make sure that the town, the county, and the people of Castle Rock would receive benefits every year from the trust. Beneficiaries include Douglas County, Douglas County Libraries, Douglas County Fair, Denver Children's Hospital, Shriners Hospital, high school scholarships, and dozens of qualified nonprofits. Hundreds of charitable, scientific, and educational organizations have benefited from the Miller's Living Trust. Today, Philip S. Miller is remembered for his generosity to the town of Castle Rock and its surrounding communities. And during his life, he was known for his work ethic and integrity as a businessman. Former County Commissioner Carl Winkler eulogized, he was a man of great compassion, great humility, great humanity. He did the best he could for his customers and his friends, and his actions were always geared towards the community. He wasn't trying to be a great man, he was a great man. Most people don't really know who he was. Uh, when they come here, we start talking about him, and that's when they learn more about him. Um, but most people just know the name on the building. Philip S. Miller was born in Peoria, Illinois in 1895 to Philip Sr., known as Butch, and Lena Miller. He had one older brother, Adam. When Philip S. Miller was 11, his mother Lena was diagnosed with tuberculosis and the family moved to Denver because the dry, thin air was thought to help fight the disease. Butch opened a meat market on 3rd Avenue in downtown Denver and taught his two sons the trade. Sadly, Lena died of tuberculosis two years after the family moved to Colorado. In 1917, Butch, Philip, and Grandma Augusta Miller left Denver for the small country town of Castle Rock. Butch and Philip opened a meat market in Castle Rock, as well as in the nearby towns of Elizabeth and Kiowa. Also in 1917, Philip and Jerry met at a neighborhood dance and married three months later. He had taken over the daily operations of running the meat markets as Butch was focusing his time on cattle and hog ranching. In 1921, Philip sold the meat markets in Kiowa and Elizabeth to consolidate the business in Castle Rock. He relocated the store to the corner of 4th and Wilcox Street, at the south side of what is now the B&B Cafe. In the 1920s and 1930s, as his business grew, Philip served on the town council. During this time, the council brought electricity and a sewer system to the community, despite some local protests over the high costs of these endeavors. Mr. Miller always believed the town must progress forward and was instrumental in passing these legislations. In 1939, he was approached by other local business owners who were trying to raise money for a town bank after the previous bank shut down during the Great Depression. This was an agricultural community. When you're, when you're in a raising livestock, you don't receive daily incomes or weekly or monthly incomes. You, you use this when you sell your calves and your cattle you get big lumps of money and you need a place to take the money to where you can write a check on it. So for an agricultural community, a bank's very important. Miller helped raise $25,000 to open the bank on the corner of 4th and Wilcox. The Bank of Douglas County was open for business and never once posted an annual loss. In 1950, Philip S. Miller purchased enough shares to become the majority shareholder of the bank. As Castle Rock flourished in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, so did the bank. It offered lower rates than most other banks in agricultural communities and would offer loans on generous terms to local businesses to support the growth of the town and community. Meanwhile, Miller raised award-winning cattle as a hobby and not-for-profit. He said that by raising cattle himself, he understood what the local ranchers had to go through 
and by owning a bank, he understood what it took to run a business. In 1980, the community of Castle Rock faced a water shortage. The Millers came to the rescue, donating the water rights from their 204-acre ranch to the town of Castle Rock and asking for nothing in return. This remarkable donation was worth millions and was critical in helping to secure water for the town's future. Philip and Jerry Miller then established their greatest contribution to the surrounding communities by forming the Philip S. Miller Charitable Trust with a donation of over $30 million. Through their living trust, the Millers continued to support their community with annual funding for organizations providing charitable, scientific, library, and educational benefits. In the last 10 years alone, the Miller Trust provided nearly $15 million to several town, county, and state recipients. This $30 million endowment continues to provide substantial sums to so many organizations. Over the course of his remarkable life, Philip Miller helped bring to the town of Castle Rock a meat market, electricity, running water, banking loans, water rights, and a living trust. And for that, the town of Castle Rock and other benefactors are eternally grateful.